Hi! On today's video, I'm going to show you two easy card making ideas for Christmas or for the holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Amanda and today I want to show you how you can make two Christmas cards very different from each other, two completely different styles but using the same stamp set and the same main technique which is going to be heat embossing. So let's see how to do it. Here you can see the supplies I'm going to be using today. This is Chunky Christmas, a new stamp set by Cassie Silski and Simon's Stamp for Stamp Summer. And I'm also using cardstock, vellum paper, embossing powder and ink. And I'm going to be using Distress inks to add some color, but you can use any other inks. And I'm also using something to blend those colors. So let's start with the first card. As I said, I'm doing two different designs today. So stay until the end to see how the other card is going to be completely different from this one. And as you can see, I'm using my mini Misty to stamp one of the trees. I'm going to stamp it four times and then heat emboss it. But if you don't have a Misty or a stamp positioner, I think you're fine with an acrylic block because when you're using Versamark ink or Watermark ink, uh, it is really sticky, so the impression is normally quite okay doing it just once. I'm doing it twice here, but really, it's just in case and you're gonna be fine with just once. And what I'm doing here is trying to see where I stamped the first tree. I want to overlap all of them and create a straight line, but watermark ink is transparent, so you need to move a little bit the cardstock in order to see it. As you can see here, I didn't do a great job prepping my cardstock before stamping, so I got a few spots with embossing powder where I don't want it. That's why I'm using a brush to get rid of that. And I am also going to stamp my sentiment, which is going to be Mary, on a piece of vellum paper. Well, this is actually vellum cardstock, it's a little bit thicker than paper. It's time to add some color so we can actually see those trees. And I'm using Distress inks as I said, but you can use any other ink because I'm not going to be using the properties, let's say, of Distress ink. What I'm doing is I'm starting always on the center of the tree and moving towards the outside so I can create sort of a halo effect. That's what I'm looking for. Now, you may have noticed those trees are not really well centered, but that's because I'm going to cut them out using a rectangle die.
I want the sentiment to have dimension, so to add it to the card, I'm using stripes of foam that I can actually hide behind the letters because those lines are really thick. Otherwise, you can also use transparent foam. I'm going to use lots of embellishments for this card. As you can see here, I'm using sequins and also diamonds that I'm trying to match with the colors of the card. Okay, so let's make the second card. This one is going to be really minimalistic, mostly monochromatic, and it is easier to make than the first one. I felt something was missing, so I decided to frame this sentiment. Now, if you don't have this kind of dies, you can always create a frame using stripes of cardstock. And for the final details of this card, I changed my mind a lot. First I wanted sequins, then I wanted a pop of color, so I chose red diamonds. But in the end I think all the versions were okay, so you can choose whatever you like better.
so those are the cards I wanted to share with you today. I hope you like them. And if you're watching this in September, you definitely need to pass by my blog and check out Stamptember. It is such a fun event that happens every September. And if you like stamps, you definitely, definitely need to check it out. So have a great day, guys, and see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching, here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and you can also become a subscriber if you want. If you do so, and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. See you soon!